the most powerful workforce in human history is rising, one that doesn't need sleep, food, or even a paycheck, and is coming for jobs we thought were untouchable. Doctors, lawyers, and web developers were all in danger because these AI tools aren't just replacing workers, they're about to reshape the entire global economy. Soon, they're going to be able to automate entire workflows, streamline processes, and make split-second decisions faster than any human ever could. So let's talk about how exactly AI tools will trigger the biggest economic shift in history, and more importantly, what you can do to stay ahead. Before we dive in, thanks to Lovable for sponsoring this video. More on them later. AI exploded into the mainstream with ChatGPT in late 2022, but now we've entered the next phase. AI tools that don't just assist, they can handle entire workflows on their own. If you're new here, I'm Jean. I was an early engineer at WhatsApp before Meta's $19 billion acquisition. I've been in tech for about 20 years through multiple booms and busts. Now I help people navigate the AI shift in tech through YouTube and LinkedIn. Lately, I've been researching AI-powered tools, and what I've seen is mind-blowing. Unlike traditional AI models that need constant supervision, these tools can plan, make decisions, and execute tasks with minimal human intervention. And this shift is happening fast. AI is getting exponentially smarter. Advances in natural language processing means AI tools can now handle complex tasks that used to require human judgment. Tech giants like Meta, Salesforce, and OpenAI, they're all in on the AI race. And startups are also popping up everywhere. You've probably seen the news that OpenAI is launching AI tools that can handle jobs typically done by PhD-level researchers. These AI-powered assistants will help with coding, research, and even problem solving. Meta is rolling out AI customer service tools on Instagram, Facebook, and WhatsApp to process returns, recommend products, and handle purchases in real time. Salesforce launched Agent Exchange, a marketplace where businesses can buy pre-built AI solutions from companies like Google Cloud, eliminating the need for full tech team. AI tools aren't coming, they are already here, and they're about to change everything. For example, with platforms like lovable.dev, you can build websites in minutes. Lovable is an AI-powered platform that lets you create software applications just by describing what you want in plain English. You don't even need to have any coding experience. It's kind of like having a full stack engineer, UX designer, product manager, and backend developer all in one tool. I tested it myself and I was blown away. If you follow me, you know I was pretty skeptical about Debian previously, the first AI software engineer, because the prompts they use in the promo videos were so technical. I was skeptical that people would be able to use it without super deep technical knowledge. So with Lovable, I gave it a super vague prompt to just test it, thinking it probably wouldn't work anyway. So here's the prompt I used. I said, create a web app that tracks my study progress based on a roadmap. I can upload the roadmap. Let me know what information you need. Now, I expected to ask me follow-up questions, but instead, this is the response I got. I'm envisioning a sleek, minimalist study roadmap tracker inspired by Apple's design philosophy. The application will help you track your progress through a customizable learning path with intuitive visuals and smooth interactions. It even outlined features, design elements, and a roadmap for execution. The design looked better than many templates I've seen on website builders like Squarespace. I thought the website looked pretty good, so I hit publish and saw an error. I thought, of course, it doesn't actually work, right? But then I thought, well, let me give it another shot, and I asked this prompt again fix the code so it can deploy. A super non-technical request that even my 12-year-old nephew can write. But to my surprise, Lovable actually fixed it and this time it worked. I mean, the website isn't super sophisticated, but remember I spent like 30 seconds writing this prompt. So if you just need a working MVP or want to hack something really quickly, I would totally use Lovable. But people are definitely using Lovable for more complex projects. If you look at this real project I founded on LinkedIn, 
It's called Recipe AI, a solo developer built an AI-powered app that turns fridge leftovers into personalized recipes. I think I need this app. You just snap a photo of your ingredients, customize preferences, and you get instant meal ideas. Or you can take Saga Playground. This is an actual company's beta product. It's an AI-powered platform where kids can create characters animate them, and even generate birthday greetings. This is their website, and it looks pretty amazing. With Lovable, I can totally see founders launching startups without a dev team. Product designers can skip Figma and dive straight into prototyping, and sales team can demo live features instantly without working with web developers. And if you're not technical or have experience developing products, you can quickly use tools like ChatGPT or Claude to develop a product spec for you to create a more refined prompt to help Lovable generate even better results. Like for example, I would ask ChatGPT to help me develop the list of features and design elements, then tweak it to my satisfaction before asking Lovable to build it for me. I built this app with the free subscription. And if you want to play around with the tool, you can use my link in the description and you'll get double the free credit to start with. They also have paid plans starting at $20. If you want more credits to build something more sophisticated, considering that OpenAI's AI agent program will cost about $20,000 a month, I think it's a steal. Another interesting point is that this company started in 2023. It reached this level in only two years, imagine where it will be in just one more or two more years. If you think about it, 250 years ago, the Industrial Revolution replaced manual labor with machines leading to mass production. Then came the information age where knowledge work replaced factory jobs. Now AI is replacing knowledge workers, people who relied on their brains and knowledge to get things done. Even complex technical tasks like coding, data analysts are becoming automated. The same way factories wiped out manual labor jobs. AI is making software development and especially web development less dependent on human effort. But this doesn't mean it's the end for us. If you're already a web developer, there will still be demand for experienced engineers to supervise AI tools, refine their output, and handle complex tasks AI can't do. You can also upskill learning AI and working on these AI tools like Lovable themselves. And again, check out the description for the link to play around with the tool yourself. Now, front-end development is probably going to disappear sooner than full-stack engineering. As AI takes over routine UI work, companies will value developers who can manage more diverse aspects of a full project lifecycle like backend architecture and AI integration. Now, if you're just starting out, you want to focus on on foundational software engineering skills like data structures and algorithms, and don't just learn JavaScript because these fundamentals will apply across multiple fields, giving you a competitive edge to stay open as AI evolves. The key here is to stay adaptable. AI isn't your enemy, it's just a tool. Just like the industrial revolution, those who learned new trades drive and the age of AI will be similar. So you might be thinking what skills will matter in an AI driven world. Well, if you want to future proof your career, you want to watch this video next and I'll see you there.